So we're intercutting between here. You might want to use the word intercutting. And again, a slow zoom. There's lots of kind of slow, slow zoom in on her face. And again, that builds tension. Um, okay, so there's quite an important, so it's his point of view there. There, that's his point of view. And then it cuts quickly to the dog on the boy. If you say something like and along the lines of what kind of shot are we getting there? Is it a medium shot? Or a the editing shot? speeds it's up. Yeah, into a shot. Which creates tension. Or the first time it goes into a shot, so you can the camera down once into a shot. So there's that very and quick sequence now. Yeah. Um, Edit close to the close tension at the moment. Um, so maybe say that and that shot. The and you framing. describe the action here. Good to describe yeah. the framing. Yeah. shots where we see the boys. Um, Mo, I'm recording something. Um, Again, it's the context, it's the clash between the context. He's very dark, his face is not lit here, and that's deliberate. You know, he's not, if you look at how the wife's face is lit. All right, so there's two. It's a um, bit of shadow, but brightness, sorry, but he's very much there's two macro elements in shadow. Narrative structure. On his baseball cap, yeah. Really to create, create shade, and even here, look, he's getting the shade. You can talk about the shade representing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, about ten seconds. There is a macro element. So what we're focusing on here more than anything is micro elements. The little cinematography, yeah. editing, yeah. sound, mise en scène. Um, I don't know if I told you to write this. I'm hoping not. But this seems a bit too much about narrative to mm -hmm. me. So I might say, okay, this is a plot point. Um, <coughs> oh no, maybe it's all right. I'm just thinking that feels quite narrative to me because you've named the director there. Right. Less of that, more of the technical stuff, but that's fine. I would put um, point. I would put hyphens between point of view. Yeah. Yeah, didn't we talk about eyeline here? About how there's an eyeline match between. Remember, we talked about before when we were looking at the technical elements. If you have an eyeline, if you sh have a shot of a character and they're looking in one direction, and then you have a shot of another character looking back, you create an eyeline match, which tells you that there's a connection between the two characters. So you might want to look up eyeline match, just do a little research on it and explain how that works. Yeah. There. Because it's quite important. Because what it says is the rest of the characters are involved in this. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I want to just check 